Do you feel, uh, or do you often think Christ might ask rather a larger duty from you in terms of helping your fellow man uh, with your worldly goods? Do you feel that? Well, I think that in furnishing gainful or uh, employment, I think that that is one of the greatest things that anyone can do that can do it for the population of the country. I think that's very important, give people a chance to make a living for themselves. Uh, well, then you, you, you don't believe that the election of a Catholic as president uh, meant the end of religious liberty in America. No. You wouldn't agree with Reverend Criswell's statement in that sermon back in Well, I don't want to be critical of, of Dr. Criswell. Yes. Uh, he's a highly constructive person. And uh, uh, naturally, I, I was a great uh, uh, admirer of Al Smith, and also different from what, what a lot of people think, but I was a great admirer of Jack Kennedy. You are particularly sensitive about the reputation of your home city of Dallas, Texas, since the unhappy events of November and. 1963, the murder of President Kennedy. And uh, uh, you have uh, been concerned about uh, the association of your name with other so-called members of the far-right persuasion in, in reference to that event. Now, what is your opinion of the Warren Commission that, and its report on that tragic event? Well, a very unfavorable thing about the Warren Commission is that it was set up three days after the Daily Worker with a front page editorial called for it to be set up. So that is a very unfavorable start for it. It was said to be bipartisan, but the members of it were five Republicans and two Democrats. and. Uh, I don't think that it did a very good job. Are you uh, at all irritated when your name is associated with that of General Edwin Walker as a fellow citizen of Dallas, Texas? No, I'll not say that at all because he, he certainly is entitled to uh, express himself and he has his philosophy. And uh, how do you feel about uh, the head of the John Birch Society, Robert Welch? Are you in accordance with his views? I am quite generally in favor of anyone that is fighting communism. And as they have weaknesses, as they do things that I don't approve of, well, then I still don't want to be critical of them. Do you think you have a, an unfair advantage over the average man in using your enormous wealth to communicate your ideas directly to people? Isn't that a, 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 a little unfair to the uh, average man who can't get that big a soapbox as you have? Well, I think that uh, so long as uh, I am spending money and spending effort in the cause of liberty, I think that I should be commended. I don't want you to brag on me, but I think I should be commended.